Um, in this video, I'm going to uh, prove that um, the integral of a complex function f over a curve c is independent of the parametrization of c. Yeah? Cool. Now, to do this, let's start with an interval. So let's suppose that we have um, this representing um, the interval from a to b. Yeah? Cool. So then uh, we have a here. And then we have B here, and let's say T is right here at the moment, but the point is that T ranges from A to B. Yeah, cool. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take T and map it um, onto our curve um, C, and uh, let's say that C looks like this. Okay, cool, why not, right? Um, get fancy. So then this is, let's say, um, z of a and this is z of b um, and so then t is mapped onto let's say this point right here and that's z of t which we reckon is some x of t um, plus i times y of t yeah cool all right that's what we've got and now what we're going to do in turn is map um, z using f yeah cool and uh, to be space efficient let's do that this way we make it land exactly on z of t but yeah z of t or z is mapped now in turn using f um, and so this black arrow is showing the mapping f and um, f of z which is f of z of t we then reckon is some u of x y plus i times v of x y now uh, remember x and y are functions of t and we see that yeah cool so here i could have written f of um x plus i y where again it's x of t plus um i times y of t yeah cool all right uh we've done the necessary setup so let's move forward so what we'd like to show to show that uh, the parameterization doesn't matter is to start with um this and end up with it after we parameterize yeah cool so we start here and we want to end up here after the parameterization but notice that by our setup, this, this integral of f of z dz over c, over the curve c, is equal to um, the integral over um, the curve c of f of z of t times z prime of t um, dt. Cool. Now, in turn, we can say that that's equal to the integral from a to b um, of f of... Um, z of t is x of t plus i y of t so f of x plus i y i'm abbreviating instead of writing x of t and y of t okay and um this times if since z of t is x plus i y um z prime of t is going to be x prime plus i y prime again x prime of t plus i times y prime of t but you get it you get it times dt yeah cool all right now remember f maps um z of t which is x plus i y uh, onto u of x y plus i times v of x y so uh that's all to say that we could replace this with we could replace f of um x plus i y with um u plus i v yeah where u and v are functions of x and y okay so this could be replaced uh, with u plus iv so we could do that a to b um, and then u plus iv um, and then times x prime um, plus i y prime times dt now this here um, I could um, multiply and write as a to b of um, ux prime uh, plus um, i times ui prime plus um, i times vx prime 
right? And then plus I squared times um, Vy prime O multiplied by dt, right? Cool. So far, so good. So then in our next line, we can write this um, a to b. And it's um, notice that this is negative 1. So we can combine this and this, the real terms, right? And write um, u um, x prime and then minus uh, v y prime dt. And then from the imaginary parts, we can factor out the constant i and write a to b. Um, and then it's uh, uy prime uh, and then plus vx prime. And then that's also multiplied by dt. Yeah? Cool. Now, um, let's interpret what x prime and y prime mean because we can simplify. Remember, x prime is dx dt because x is a function of t. So what we have is u times dx dt uh, minus v times dy dt, uh, both multiplied by dt, plus i times the integral from a to b of u um, dy, dx, dy dt, my bad, not dy dx. Dy dt is so tempting to say dy dx, though, because I've said it so many times over my um, so far. Uh, x many years on earth. Um, so dy, um, not dy, my bad. No, I'm distracted. dx dt. Um, so this is just a rewriting of that. Um, and then now this is also multiplied by dt. But wait, when we distribute the dt here and here and on this second integral there and there, we can write the following, which is c and then um, it's going to be u dx um, and then minus v dy and then uh, plus over c um, and then, whoa, skip my i, i times the integral over c of u dy uh, plus v dx. Okay, cool. But wait, if we take this guy right and move him up here and take a look look this thing I claim is exactly the same as u plus iv times dx plus i times dy you want to check u dx when we multiply that's right there and then um, u dy times i, there's the i and then there's the u dy, okay? And then uh, these two, uh, the i times v times dx, i times v times dx, right there. And finally, um, i squared times v times dy, i squared is negative 1, so that's negative v dy, and we've got that right there, yeah? Cool, awesome, because this here is f of z and this is dz therefore we are back to where we started um we have f and then we have dz right there this is dz and that's f yeah cool i hope you enjoyed this and take care watch more